So recently, one of our viewers, Gebbies, hopefully I'm saying that name right, G-E-B-Y-S, uh, has brought to my attention that um, in as of Solidity version 0 0.8.0, they added to where it throws an exception uh, whenever you reach an integer overflow or underflow. So I'm just going to test that out and demo that on the channel because we've been talking about a number of Solidity uh, potential vulnerabilities, one of them being integer overflow and underflow. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check out that video. It's in the cryptocurrency and security playlist along with a whole slew of other uh, solidity uh, vulnerabilities that are out there. So definitely give that a watch if you haven't. But this is a vulnerability that exists in other programming languages for sure, uh, without a doubt. A lot of them do throw exceptions as well automatically. But now as of this version, it will. So I'm just going to demo that. So if we say, hey, uh, tell the solidity compiler to use uh, version 080, and we also need to make sure that we are set to use it over here, right? So we want to choose 080 up here as well. Now we can tell it, uh, hey, let's create a contract here. And this file that I'm writing to is called uh, overflow.sol. And we'll have an overflow contract. And inside that contract, we will have a basic function for... Uh, let's see, let's see, addition, we'll just call it addition because we're just going to do some simple addition here and it'll be a public function, pure, and it will, will be returning a uint, uint8, we'll make life easy on ourselves here. So the way uint8 works is the maximum value of uint8, unsigned integer, 8, uh, eight byte, is uh, 255. So if I define a variable of type uint8 called a and I assign it 255, that's the max value we could have without reaching a uh, integer overflow. So for example, if I return this here, uh, you'll see. So let's compile this and uh, we'll deploy it. And then when I run this, we see here, I know this is really small. Uh, perhaps I'll zoom in for you guys. 255 is uh, what we get as a, the return value. So that is the actual highest number that we can have with uh, unsigned integer 8. So, for example, if instead of returning A, we increment and return the incremented value, it will not be 256. It's going to wrap around to 0. So if I try to deploy that, and uh, run it. Oops, let me, let me make sure I'm saving saving this, deploying the new one, and running it. Yep, here we go. We see it's not showing us the return value, and if we look down in our terminal down here, we're seeing uh, call to overflow.addition errored, VM error revert, and it says a transaction has been reverted to the initial state. The called function should be payable, blah, blah, blah. And... Uh, I do believe it does mention the fact that the reason for that, which basically the reason for that is we overflowed the integer, right? So it's going to automatically revert. And also if we go and see the debug the transaction to get more information, right, is uh, another thing that it tells us. Now, also, if we look at the documentation for Solidity 080, we will see what Gebby's, in fact, told us, and that is that um, there's some breaking changes to this version, as there normally is with any major new version of Solidity. Uh, but in particular, um, arithmetic operations revert on underflow and overflow. So you can use the unchecked to use the previous wrapping behavior. So... Uh, maybe we'll add that. We'll, we'll show how we can actually still say if overflow was part of your code. Sometimes it is in different uh, security uh, encryption algorithms, right? Sometimes uh, overflow is intended behavior, almost like a modulus, if you will. But uh, yeah, checks for overflows are very common. So we made them the default to increase readability of code, even if it comes at a slight increase of gas costs.
ABI Coder V2 is activated by default. And I won't go too much into the rest of this stuff. That's the main part I wanted to highlight. And when, when it's talking about the unchecked thing, what we could do is we could say unchecked and just uh, put this in the uh, curly braces here. So now when we deploy this contract uh, and we run the function, we'll see this is zero. I mean, alternatively, if we added, I don't know, like 10 to this, deploy that contract and run it, we'll see that this value is now nine because it, it wrapped all the way <laughs> and went up to, to nine. Remember, starting at zero. Zero is the lowest number because this is not a signed integer. It's an unsigned integer. So it starts at zero and it can go up to 255 and then it'll wrap again. But yeah, it's going to keep uh, wrapping basically as, you know, the higher we go. And uh, we could, you know, just to demo how this is different, we could put this on uh, 0, 6, 0, for example, and I need to also change the compiler here. So if we go to this older version of Solidity, hopefully it doesn't break anywhere else in the code, but we'll see here. So let's remove the uncheck. Let's just say that we try to return 255 plus 1, like so. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if we compile this and deploy... Yep, we see here we get the value of zero because it wrapped around. Because this was the uh, default in the older versions, probably in seven as well, because we see uh, that it was only in 0 0.8.0 that it said, hey, this change is made, now we throw an exception. So just showing you guys how you can... Um, I want to verify that, because I, I had no idea that this was a change that they made. So definitely appreciate you guys for updating me on this stuff. But I want to you know, show you guys how to do a little bit of integer overflow and underflow and practice and also go ahead and take this opportunity to uh, confirm some information that came my way. Yep, so in seven, it's working properly. So there you go. Uh, hopefully this video is insightful, at least to show you guys what uh, integer overflow and underflow looks like in practice and also how you can read documentation and work your way through things using the documentation. So uh, if you're enjoying the content so far, subscribe, hit the like button as well. And if you are you know, really eager on learning more about Solidity and the vulnerabilities in there, check out the playlist on screen right now, Cryptocurrency and Security. I'll see you guys over in those videos. Thanks for watching.